Good morning, dear friends. So this is a brand new day, the first day of the rest of your life. Thank God for the mercies and faithfulness of our God who has given us this day. Let's rejoice and live it for his glory. I would like to meditate with you today about something that is very, very important in our life. There is a letter in the New Testament written by one Jude. It is a one chapter letter with 25 verses. Many are not familiar with this name Jude, who this Jude is. He introduces himself as the brother of James and a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now again the question is, who, which is this James? There are several Jameses in the New Testament. Uh, one is the brother of John, uh, one of the disciples of Jesus, James. And um, I might tell this also, James was the first Christian martyr uh, after, after, uh, uh, from among the uh, disciples after uh, Stephen. And uh, he, is uh, he was one of the disciples so he is not the james here this james is a half brother of jesus jesus had at least five brothers and two three sisters and uh, at least two of them we know uh, jude and james this james also was the president of the church at jerusalem he became a very prominent leader. But during the life of Jesus Christ here on earth, none of his uh, family members ever believed him, except his mother. But it was after the resurrection of Jesus, they began to believe in him, and the two of them became teachers and preachers of God's word. And one of them is Jude. Um, he wrote a letter after becoming a follower of Jesus Christ and a servant of Jesus Christ. He wrote this letter, though it, there is only one chapter to this letter. What he wrote is very, very significant and very important for us to take into consideration. And um, it is very significant. And he gives some excellent insight into the dangers the church all ages would suffer, especially in these last times. He has given a warning of a, a false teachers and their false teachings which would invade into the church of the Lord Jesus Christ for the purpose of destroying it. And most importantly, he gives us the Christian way to counter them and defeat the enemy's plan and strategy of destroying the church which was purchased by the Lord Jesus Christ with his own precious blood. And today, I would like to draw your attention to verse 11, which talk about the three Old Testament characters who by their demonic power and Satan's influence tried to destroy God's people by their evil influence. And verse 11 of Jude, we read like this. Woe to them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, have run greedily in the error of Balaam, 
for profit and perished in the rebellion of Korah. Now these are the three names that he mentioned. Cain, Balaam and Korah. Now let's uh, just have a look at these uh, characters and see the cause of their own destruction. Now Cain was a murderer. He was the first son of uh, Adam and Eve. Filled with jealousy. The result of a false worship. Now jealousy is a killer. He and his works were more important to him than, than God. Now here is the lesson. Wrong worship always leads to selfishness and murder. I want you to understand this. That is key. The second character is Balaam. Now Balaam was greedy. He left the way of truth and became immoral and embraced immorality and led the Israelites into his immoral ways. And the lesson here is greed always leads to immorality. And the third person is Korah. Korah is one of the uh, uh, leaders among the Israelites whom Moses has chosen. Now what was his problem? He was rebellious against leadership. Possessed a rebellious spirit. A rebellious spirit is destructive because it always has a false motive. Now here then are three characteristics of a false teacher and their false teaching. Cain represents false worship. Balaam represents false morality. And Korah represents false motives. These are the characteristics that must be avoided by all means. My friends, if you are a reader of God's Word, the Bible, go into God's Word and find the places where these three names appear in the Old Testament. And read and, and, and study how God's judgment fell on them and all three of them perished. God has a plan and purpose for your life. And you are not to be carried away or led away into falsehood and then fall prey to these devices of the devil. May the Lord help you understand that so that you will guard your life from these errors and save yourself. The Lord has given you the Holy Spirit. Trust Him. And Father, I thank you for the listeners who listen to this thought. And as they think about it and meditate on it, that you speak to them and show them by opening their inner eyes to see the dangers with these false uh, teachings through false satanic influence trying to capture our own heart from following and pursuing the truth and embrace falsehood. Protect them. Bless them with your presence and with your revelation. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. This is a wonderful day. Enjoy life and have a good day. Amen.